Welcome to Getting Started with Polar V650. Next, you'll see how to do the first time setup for your V650 at the Polar Flow web service. You will also see how to operate the V650 touchscreen and what the first steps are before, during, and after training. First, connect your V650 to the USB port of your computer with a standard micro USB cable. It takes up to 5 hours to fully charge the battery. Let it charge while you get started. Start by pressing the side button for a couple of seconds. The side button and front button are the only physical buttons available. The V650 is otherwise operated using the touchscreen. The first time you do this, V650 will take you through the setup process. Fill in the required information by tapping the screen. Now, go to flow.polar.com slash start. Download Polar FlowSync and run the installer. FlowSync transfers training data between V650 and the Flow Web service. It also makes sure that your V650 is up to date. You can always trust that the new software updates offered by Polar are better than the old ones, so please update the firmware whenever FlowSync offers it. If you already have a Polar account, we recommend that you use your existing username and password. Otherwise, create a new account. Fill in your personal details to the service. Enter as accurate data as possible to get correct feedback based on your performance. Now that the setup is done, let's take a quick look at your V650 menus and functions. The symbols displayed at the bottom of the main view show the status of the GPS connection, heart rate sensor, cadence sensor, and speed sensor. A blinking green circle around the symbol means that the V650 is searching for a GPS connection or connection to the sensor which you've paired earlier. The blinking circle won't appear if you haven't paired any sensors. Before pairing, install your Bluetooth smart sensors on your bike as instructed in the sensors user's guide. Remember to moisten the electrode areas. Wear the heart rate sensor around your chest, under your chest muscles, Polar logo facing up. Adjust the strap to fit snugly. If you bought your V650 without a heart rate sensor, not to worry, you can always buy one later. Then go to Settings, General Settings, Pairing, Pair New Device, and choose your sensor. If needed, you can check the ID from the sensor. Next, a brief overview of the V650 menus. You can see the details and totals of your rides from history in the main view. Choose the right bike for your ride from bike and the right profile from profile. Choose settings if you'd like to, for example, to find specific views for each cycling profile you do and choose what data you want to see when you train. Swipe down to open the pull-down menu. Here you can, for example, adjust the safety light. It's an intelligent feature that you can set to blink or stay on, or to turn on automatically when it gets dark, and to turn off when it gets bright. Okay, now that all your sensors are paired and found, you're ready for the first ride. Press the front button to start recording. You can change training views during training by swiping right or left.
tap to use the zone lock. You will get a notification when your heart rate is outside a locked zone. To pause or stop your training, press and hold the front button. Analyze every detail of your performance with Flow Web Service.